tremendous interest has developed in volleyball today, both in participation as well as spectator involvement. As more people learn to play volleyball, they realize how much fun and exciting the game can be. Unlike many other sports played primarily by men, volleyball has attracted women, and volleyball is one more sport in which women have excelled. You know, the funny thing is that I always will remember what my brother said, that if you want to be successful, you, you have to really go out and give 100%. And I think it's helped me because once I started playing in college and for the U.S. teams, that's always stuck with me. is an important part of developing skills in every sport. Group exercises in volleyball make it easier for many players at one time to become more familiar and practice the various methods and techniques used in this sport. The serve is one of the most important skills to be familiar with as it is the only way the ball can be put in play. The underhand serve is a good method of putting the ball in play. While it is generally a bit less difficult for the defense to receive, it is a valuable skill to master. In executing the underhand serve, the arm is brought straight back, then swung forward to strike the ball with a closed fist. Stand with the left foot forward and bend the knee slightly. And as the ball is struck, step forward with the right foot and follow through with the swing of your right arm. through the entire serve, taking a deep breath and relaxing usually results in a good ball accurately placed. The overhand serve is used by the majority of leading volleyball players. When correctly delivered, the ball will drop sharply, causing the opponent to make a quick adjustment in receiving the serve. In performing the overhand serve, the ball is tossed about two feet above the head while the right arm is brought back and caught. Then, as the elbow leads the way, the arm is extended and stretched as the ball is contacted solidly with an open hand. Stand facing the net with the left foot forward and knees slightly bent. After contacting the ball, follow through in exactly the same direction. It is very important to hit behind and slightly below the ball, as this helps in controlling the height and direction of the serve. The underhand pass, or bump, as it is often referred to, is primarily used to receive serves or dig spikes. The bump is appropriately named since the ball merely bounces off the forearms. In executing the underhand pass, or bump, the player must clasp her hands together and rotate the elbows inwardly with the forearms parallel to the ground. In proper position for the underhand pass or bump, the knees are bent and the body is in a crouching position with the left foot slightly forward.
thing I want you to remember is to keep your elbows perfectly locked together and get underneath the ball. That's right. As the ball approaches, bend the knees, step forward with the left foot while keeping the back as straight as possible. The elbows are firmly locked into position and the ball is contacted on the mid forearms. Practicing the underhand pass or bump in a group exercise gives everyone an opportunity to work at the skill while at the same time helping to properly develop good positioning and timing. The overhand pass is generally used when playing a ball that has been bumped or passed over the net. To correctly perform the overhand pass, it is very important to be in position under the ball. The head is back while the hands are held close to the forehead above the eyes. The index fingers and thumbs should form a triangle that you can look through when receiving the ball. The knees are bent while the legs spring up as you step forward to play the ball. As the ball approaches, explode into the ball by uncoiling with the legs and arms simultaneously while watching through your hands to impact. A practice drill similar to the underhand pass is helpful in further developing the techniques of this skill. The net recovery or net volley is a very difficult maneuver to execute because of the total uncertainty of where the ball might drop out of the net. The reflexes of a player must be very sharp as this skill demands exact timing. The underhand pass or dig is used for this recovery play. Keep your eyes on the ball and position yourself as low to the ground as possible. Time your hit so that you are under the ball. Then rise up and forward as you contact or dig the ball. Proper execution of this skill can save points from being lost. The spike is the most powerful offensive tactic used in volleyball. The three-step takeoff is the accepted starting procedure. The run or approach is made in a straight line from a position about 10 feet back from the net, while the jump is executed about 3 feet behind the ball. That was good, Rose, but next time, after you make your approach, I want you to turn in the air and snap down over the ball. Okay. As you jump with both legs parallel, the arms are simultaneously brought up and the right elbow is held high and slightly out. The ball is spiked with an open hand for better control, while also making it easier for the wrist to snap over the ball and drive the ball downward. A player must be able to jump high in the air, time a moving ball, and hit it solidly, while at the same time placing it in a desired spot against the defense. The spike is a unique skill to master. Early training and practice really play an essential role in learning the proper skills in volleyball. Yes, I agree, Kathy, but uh, as for me, I didn't get started in competitive volleyball until I was a sophomore in high school when I would go to youth services at night on my own and learn the basic fundamentals from some of the better players. and. Uh, 
by my being short, some somewhat short, 5'4", I really had to work hard and put in a lot of time. I got interested in playing volleyball about the fifth grade. <clears throat> I used to always watch the varsity play all the time, and there was this one girl that really could spike the ball and hit it straight down, so she kind of inspired me. So like Jill, I started going to youth services and practicing all the time to improve myself and learn the basic fundamentals of volleyball. Do you have any helpful advice for the young player coming up? Yeah, some advice for the young players to practice, start young and practicing is very important and to learn the basic fundamentals of volleyball which will really help them improve their sport and enjoy it more also. As we can see from this discussion, early training and practice and coaching are important in learning the proper skills in volleyball, but they're not essential. Anyone can have fun playing volleyball at any age.